the company is following the procedures and there's no fraud. How do you know? Like the fund invoicing or fake, fake transactions or uh, something like that? Right. Um, and can you just elaborate what is fake transactions? Like if somebody is trying to commit a fraud, I mean, he, he can enter uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. fake transactions mm -hmm. to steal money, something like that, because the fraud is always related to money. Mm -hmm. So they're going to, or you can say they, uh, they can put the wrong data into the system. Like mm -hmm. if a vendor charge you like $100 and they're going to put $200 and get right. commission from the vendor, something good, like that. Good point. Okay, good point. Uh, right. Um, that's easy answer. And doesn't mean that others do not have a common sense, but that, that's the right answer, right? Um, when it's a fraudulent something, somebody's messing up the system. Somebody's manually posting something, right? So I'm manually fixing this. So in SAP, everything's automated. Most of the most of the things are automated, right? When you sell, um, how do you cut when you when you pay to a vendor? Okay, you have to have a good receipts, right? You have to have good receipts. You have to inventory, you have to have some expenses. Then you book the expenses. The vendor is set up correctly, right? It's not a third party, my uncle or auntie. Okay, he has his, he has his own all the, you know, um, the vendor registration number. That's a big companies have a lot of uh, procedures to vet, to vet, again, to vet the vendor system, right? They will not just take anybody as a vendor. So that's why they have a preferred supply of vendors, preferred vendor. Because these vendors are registered or, you know, well-known and, you know, they have a good ethical, um, you know, disclosure policies and so on. Okay. So um, when you want to make a payment to the vendor, you have to make sure that you have an invoice, the goods are received and somebody counted this, there's a physical check has been done, the vendor is not free of, uh, vendor is free of any other, you know, um, the breach of trust or conduct or code of conduct and so on, right? Then you make a payment to the vendor. It's all automated. Now, if I just post a manual entry with no with no invoice received, with no goods received, it's a fraud, right? Right. I can set up my uncle or somebody and you know create an invoice for one million dollars. The payment system will run and you know send the money to him. Correct. Number one. So, what I want to say is, any manual entries, okay? The auditor wants to know. Make sense? Anything you are doing manually, anything you are uh, doing manually means you are you are kind of suppressing the system. Uh, design, right? Correct? Right? Right. Right. Yes. So basically, any manual entries. Okay, this is one of the one of the highest priority <clears throat> auditing item make sense there are several things yeah. yes. do you uh, mean manual entries like literally um, like writing down on uh, any books of the company or you mean there will be a certain uh, place in the sap system to do it manually <clears throat> can somebody answer the question uh, can you please repeat the question i, I didn't get it I mean, did, did you, does that manual entries mean literally like writing down in any company books or it's there's some place in the SAP portal to do it manually? Well, I think like uh, any entry without any official approval is uh, you enter into the system, that's going to be a fraudulent because if all the general vouchers and all the invoices must be signed by some authority. If those uh, invoices or general vouchers are not signed by any authority and you enter into the system, that could be considered as a fraudulent activity. That's what I think. Um, can I add to that? Sure. I think um, in this case, it would be like, you know, when we look at our P2P cycle, like when we have a purchase order, and then we had have good receipts and then you know if it doesn't follow that chain and sometimes for example when the system is not working or something you can try to post a manual entry like you, you can pay a vendor which is not connected to a purchase order number i think that's what is a manual entry so it, it's not linked to like what we're exactly paying for 